Let's talk about double-ended HPS lamps. Philips launched their green power lamp for commercial greenhouses back in 2005, and these days you'll find a whole bunch of different competing double-ended lamps and reflectors in most indoor gardening stores. Let's open up this box and take a look inside. This is a 1000 watt Digimax double-ended HPS lamp. You'll need an electronic ballast, not a magnetic, to run this beast along with a double-ended reflector. Oh, but first things first, on with the pink gloves. Mmm. And we certainly don't want to be touching this nice, clean quartz lamp jacket with my bare, sweaty hands and leaving oily fingerprint residue. No, sir. Gone is the mogul-style screw-in base familiar to regular HPS lamps. Instead, we have two connectors at either side of the arc tube. You can see it is around 2 inches shorter than the regular 1,000-watt HPS lamps. DE lamps need to run hot, baby. Attaining the proper temperature in the arc tubes is absolutely critical to achieving optimal performance. Obviously, because of their unique design, DE lamps require their own special sockets. Let's take a look at the Super Sun double-ended reflector. It clearly states on the packaging that it's been made specially for double-ended lamps and proudly fabricated in Washington State. Hey, nothing against my buddies in China, but I'm liking that a lot. So inside the reflector, the first thing you'll notice is the pair of lamp sockets. It's really important to install the lamp correctly. Fortunately, it's pretty straightforward too, but take care and be gentle. Open up both the clips by sliding them out like this. The lamp goes in with its flat ends down and the wires resting nicely on the track. The first time I looked at these clips, it seemed to me like the lamp should be inserted edge first. Big no-no. You'll need to push the lamp down slightly on those metal springs for it to fit in place. Et voila! You can see this lamp is nicely sandwiched. Now, just slide those clips back in and the lamp is totally locked in place. Next, it's time to hang the Super Sun Reflector. There's a socket at the top of the reflector and a cable included so you can connect it to your electronic ballast. On she goes. Push her down firmly so that you can attach the little flaps to keep her in place. Uh, like I already said, a double-ended HPS 1000 watt lamp needs an electronic ballast, not a magnetic. These Galaxy Dialawatt electronic ballasts are perfect for the job. Insert the other end of the cable. I really like these rugged fixtures. They give me a peace of mind when dealing with all of this power. Set the watts to 1000. One last visual check and it looks like we're just about ready to turn on the power. And BAM! She's on! You can see how the voltage is being generated at both the electrodes, rather than just one like a regular HPS lamp. This gives a more even burning of the gases inside the arc tube and a more stable spectral output. Okay, we've been on for 60 seconds now and I can tell you that this lamp is already seriously bright. HPS lamps are rich in the yellow-orange part of the spectrum. Plants are very efficient at using that type of light, and it's especially needed during the flowering and fruiting stage. If you're growing heavy fruiting annuals that want lots of light, then these DE lamps pack the biggest punch right now. Just be sure to keep on top of your grow room temperatures, okay? Post your comments and questions below. If you found this video informative, please hit that subscribe button to give me a double-ended smile. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye-bye.